how many kids now are stuck in Congo? We've got about at least 750, somewhere between 750 and 800 children. How many have we lost along the way? Well, the number's growing every day, sadly, with the mortality rate of one in seven not reaching their fifth birthday. We're aware of about 10, but we expect that number to grow. We've got 41 critically ill children who, if we don't get out in the next days, may not survive. This has been a big dream of ours to be able to bring orphans into our life and change their life. Our children are legally ours in June of 2013 and we've been waiting ever since due to the suspension. In the Democratic Republic of Congo in 2010 there were 41 adoptions and that number has slowly increased over the last few years. In 2013, unable to handle the influx of cases, several hundred, the Department of State began seeking ways to slow or stop adoptions from the Democratic Republic of Congo. They implemented a policy of 100% mandatory field investigations. Shortly thereafter, the suspension that now exists went into place. The Department of State, instead of becoming advocates for these families and their children, instead of sharing their experiences of 90% approvals, began to sit quietly and to encourage the families to do the same. She has a passport. She has her visa, we have our visas, and still we hear no, we can't bring her home because we don't have an exit letter. We don't get updates of how great she's doing. The only time we get an update is when we get invoiced when she is sick with malaria or she has a toothache that needs to be paid for. We've had siblings separated, biological siblings separated due to errors at the embassy. One kid's home, one kid's stuck in Congo waiting for processing and the suspension to lift. Really astonishing tragedies that could and should be avoided. We told our boys we would come back for them and they're still waiting. I don't know what they think anymore if they think they've been abandoned again. I just I know I don't need to remind you, but I want to say again for the record that children are dying during this wait. Children who have families here ready to provide for them are perishing needlessly. It seems like a bad dream that I have two daughters that I can't take care of. We owe it. We absolutely owe it to these parents and, and the children to request that the DRC government resume immediately the issuing of exit permits and to encourage and demand the State Department work sincerely and diligently. Families go to our embassy in the Congo and wait hours and hours and hours. These are Americans meeting other Americans and wait hours and hours for a 10 minute appointment to hear nothing new. It's unacceptable. What I think is of paramount importance and what Both Ends Burning is advocating for is a foreign policy solution that creates a tool by which permanency can become a central tenet of child welfare and child protection. Our approval today of House Resolution 588 with support across party lines will send a strong signal to Kinshasa that we need to unite these malaffected families. I hope that our mutual interest in the welfare of these children can lead us to a solution. We have had tremendous support both from the subcommittee and from the entire House and we are very grateful for House Resolution 588 that was recently passed. It's not enough to bring these children home. While we celebrate every victory and we are so grateful for the 21 children who have come home, there are hundreds more waiting and we can't rest on that and consider ourselves victorious. We have a lot of work to do. Well, my sister, she's all sassy. She's like, no daddy. And she just walks on her hands and her hips, and she just talks a lot. She's a true Morrison. That's what my dad always says. And what would you tell your sister if you could talk to her right now? I love you so much, Karen, and I wish you were here to play with me. Every child in the world is our child, and we need to fight for them. Our arms are open now, and our homes are ready to receive them today. We pray that our government mirrors our dedication and does its due diligence to bring our children home. Oh, star, child.